Hi there, Tech717 here. Very excited to bring you my second Humidor Combo review. This one, also from Scars International, is the Top Shelf Humidor Combo. This one is very similar to the review that I did on the Humidor 451 Combo, except it's a little bit more premium, a little bit upscale from that Humidor Combo, and comes a little bit more upscale price as well. If you want to check out the video for the 451 Combo, I'll go ahead and I'll put the link right here for you. Check that one out. This one, also a great deal. This one is a, uh, it's a $50 combo, but I'm pretty sure that we'll probably get what we pay for here. Let's go ahead and check it out. I just cracked open the box here. Got a couple of ads that they always send you for a couple of special deals, plenty of packing peanuts, and then another box in a box. All right, let's go ahead and open it up. Alright, here it is. This is their Whitetail Glass Top Humidor. As you see. A little bit darker finish than the last one. And this one does have a hydrometer built into the front of it, which I really like the idea of because I keep my humidor up on an upper shelf, so I always have to reach up, grab the thing down, and then open it up to read the hydrometer to make sure my everything's going okay with my cigars, check on my cigars, you know. I don't know if I'm the only guy that does that, but I do. So this will be really nice because I'll just be able to look up there, see the hydrometer in the face of the humidor without having to open it up, let the humidity out, that sort of thing. Kind of really attracted me to that. Uh, the first thing I noticed is that the hydrometer is mounted crooked. So hopefully we can uh, move that so it's straight up and down because that's going to bug me if uh, it's going to stay like that. Very tight fit on the lid. Struggling a little bit to get it open. Okay, here we are. More packing. And it looks like the scars are just kind of thrown in here. Uh, all kind of loose. Hopefully you get a good idea of whether I pulled a couple packing peanuts out, a couple of those airbags there. And then here's what you see when you first open it up. Another chunk of foam. A humidifier. Let's see what we got here. Appears to be, yes, it's the exact same humidifier that comes in the 451 combo. Just a green foam humidifier with a sticky back. Nothing too crazy there. A divider. And then, of course, our selection of cigars. Oh, and we got another little paper down here in the bottom, which it says is a humidor instruction manual. How handy. All right, let's take a look at our cigars. First off, we've got a Monte Cristo Classic Series. I believe it said that it was supposed to be in a Robusto, but this definitely appears to be a Churchill. No complaints there. Romeo y Julieta Reserva Real, Toro, 6x54, Cohiba Red Dot Robusto, Rocky Patel Connecticut Toro, Gurkha Beauty, probably a Gordo that would be considered, Lars Cigar. Beautiful. Alec Bradley Sun Grown American in Robusto. Macanudo Hyde Park Cafe. Oliva O Series in Robusto. Five Vega Gold Churchill. And a Punch Pita. Just to talk a little bit more about the cigars that come in this, like I said, this is a little bit more premium bundle than you get with the 451 combo. It's a little bit nicer humidor. You get the glass top, you get the hydrometer on the front. So a couple of these I have already had. I can talk about the Oliva O being a fantastic cigar that I've smoked many of. You know, I can obviously I've done a uh, review of the Five Vega Gold already. If you go ahead and check that one out, you can see how, my opinion on that. It's a pretty awesome cigar. A lot of these I haven't smoked in a long time. The uh, the Romeo and Julieta, uh, the Macanudo, the Punch. These are all cigars that it's just been a while since I've smoked them. So what I'll probably end up doing with a lot of these is go ahead and I'll do a full review on those it, as I get those reviews filmed and posted, I'll go ahead and I'll put the links in the description below. So if you want to see a review on any of the cigars that I've talked about here, go ahead and check that description. Hopefully I've got a couple of those up for you and you can check those out. Other than that, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to use this humidor for a couple weeks. I'm going to season it. I'm going to go ahead and put these cigars back in there with a couple of the other ones that I have. I'm going to be using the uh, Thompson humidification system that I did a review on in one of my other videos. That came with two jars, so I'm going to have one of those jars in here to try and keep the humidity in this one. I'm going to use it for a couple weeks, 
see how the cigars do, make sure everything's working okay, make sure it's holding humidity, make sure that this, uh, this lid fitment doesn't change too much when it absorbs all that moisture from being seasoned and then having the humidification system in there. Check the accuracy of the hydrometer that comes with it, of course, because as you know, I have issues with hydrometers working accurately. So, I'm going to check out those things, see how well this thing works, and finish the review in the second half of the video. Until then, I'll see you in a couple weeks. All right, guys, it has been quite a while, I'm sorry, but here I am ready to finish this review. <clears throat> Bit of a long story, try and keep it as short as possible. Essentially what we've got going on is this is a very elegant and beautiful paperweight. This thing will not hold humidity for me. And I know what you're thinking, maybe I didn't season it right. Etc. Etc. Maybe it's my fault somehow. I thought the same thing, but here's what I did. I seasoned it like I would a normal humidor. Put some cigars in it. Thought everything was fine for a day or two. Went back and checked it. It had dropped. So I pulled my cigars out of it before they get ruined. Try to reseason it. Maybe dry it out. I don't know. Reseason it. No change. And so I keep at this, and I'm trying to figure out what's going on, and I. Like, there's got to be a leak in it somewhere. So I wrap the thing in, in plastic wrap and cellophane, and I put a humidifier, uh, yeah, I put a, put a humidifier in it, and li leave it for 24, 48 hours, hold the perfect 70. Perfect 70% humidity. I was like, okay, all right, well, we got a leak. Well, if you look really closely, right here back towards the hinges, there's a little bit larger gap back here than there was at the front. Okay, so then I think, well, so what I do is I contact uh, Cigars International. By this time, it had been quite a while because I've been messing around with this thing for so long and I've just been ridiculously busy lately. So I contact Cigars International and say, hey, having this problem, is there anything you guys can do for me? They reply back, no. They use some fancy, nice language, but they basically said, no, we've got a return policy, which is 30 days, you're beyond 30 days, my fault, I know. So I respond back and I say, well, my intention isn't really to return it because I like the cigars, I've already smoked a couple of them, so I couldn't really return it even if I wanted to because the whole product is cigars and a humor. So I respond back and I say, hey, <clears throat> not really what I was asking for. I was wondering if you guys could do anything for me because this is basically a paperweight. And they gave me a $10 off coupon, which apparently seems to be the standard consolation prize when you buy a crappy product in the cigar world online. <clears throat> That's all they would do for me, um, so I'm pretty disappointed. Uh, I tried, I will say this, I did try to reseal the lid, so I pulled off the, I pulled the whole lid off actually is what I did. I just pulled off the hinges uh, here and here, and what I did was I ran a thin bead of uh, food grade silicone just in the, the the corner here where it seals against this corner here. So thinking maybe that, you know, if the lid was leaking that would cause, you know, that would fix the issue. No. Same result. Will not hold humidity. I don't know if it's leaking around the glass, but I don't really want to put silicone on the inside where it's going to come in contact with my cigars. I figure here on the outside, no issue there, but I don't know. I might fiddle around with it some more. It might be leaking around the hydrometer. I don't know. But Cigars International certainly doesn't want to help me with it. So I really hate to give this thing a bad review based off of just the one because, again, my buddy had an okay time with it. Other people have had an okay time with it. The cigars are great. There's nothing wrong with the cigars. Wait, I spoke too soon. <clears throat> I did have one issue with the cigar. Um, I can't remember which one. Uh, because they ship them just loose in the box with no padding or anything, you can keep them from kicking around no humidification device during shipping. Uh, the wrappers on one of the cigars was completely ruined. It was all cracked up and down. Other than that, no issues with the cigars. <sighs> that being said, if you do get a good humidor, like my buddy did, like a lot of other people do, that doesn't leak, or if you do, maybe you contact them within 30 days, I don't know, it's a pretty good value. Just didn't work out for me. So I'm gonna put the link in the description below. If you guys wanna check out the Top Shelf Humidor Combo, you go ahead and be my guest. Um, I am gonna be doing another humidor review and I'm gonna do a, uh, a how to season your humidor video with that one. 
in case you think that, yeah, hey, you don't really want this humidor. Well, I'm going to do a humidor review from another supplier. Uh, show you guys how I season my humidors, and uh, I'll have that video up soon. If I've got it up, I'll put the link right here. And uh, again, yeah, just a little disappointed with this one. Unfortunately, uh, could have been a great deal. Uh, just didn't turn out that way for me. It is what it is. So, I'll leave you with that, and as always, happy smoking, guys.